Hello lovelies. Oh, this is rather exciting. This is my first ever radio interview. Yay! So this is taking place with SAM, which is Scottish Autistic Media, a radio station in Edinburgh, Scotland, for adults who are on the autistic spectrum. I hope you enjoy it. Today I'm interviewing Katie Myers from Myers Family Blackpool to speak about their YouTube channel. Uh, First of all, thank you for taking time out to do this interview. It's much appreciated. Can you start by telling us about Myers Family Blackpool? Right, so basically we film everything from hotels to community projects, charities, attractions, just basically everything Blackpool. That's what we're about, supporting local businesses. Yeah, thank you very much. What was the idea behind starting Maya's family Blackpool? So basically my older children are home educated and I was having to leave them at home to go out to work and earn a living. And I used to sit there and think, how can I earn and home educate them and be with them? And I was just watching YouTube and I, I watched a, a blogger and I thought, right, I'm going to do this. And that was two years ago now. I set it up from scratch. I knew nothing about it. And I've just been learning every day as I go. Yeah, thank you very much. It's definitely a really good YouTube channel. Um, yeah. What has been the most popular YouTube video? For YouTube, it's a hotel called the Royal Boston Hotel. Yep. And on Facebook, it's actually um, a video of scooters going up the promenade that racked up half a million views. So I was quite shocked by that one. Um, Has there been any funny moments while filming? Oh, gosh, we have a laugh (laughs) absolutely everywhere we go. Even hotel stays, we, we find a way to make it fun. So that's one thing I love about this, that I get to do this for a living and we get to have such an amazing time. Just yesterday, we were going on the pedal the prom up the promenade. That was brilliant. We had such a good laugh filming that. And I've also seen your post about the cafe as well. I can't wait to watch. Yeah, the community cafe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love supporting things like that. It's really important to me. Um, They're very big on mental health. They have pay it forward there to help people that are struggling, you know, to eat. Yeah. they allow pets so there was a lady there yesterday who said to me she's got really bad anxiety she can't go out without her dog so she loves being able to go there because they also have a doggy menu so (laughs) he can have a dinner and she can eat too and she's happy and feels relaxed so what a great place yes that's nice thanks for that what are your top five favorite things in blackpool and would you Oh, that's a difficult one because I literally love all of Blackpool. I love everything about it. The promenade, the piers, the pleasure beach. Uh, I love all the attractions. You know, I go to the sea life and the tower quite often. So I do get followers to email and ask if they can meet up with me. So I always say yes, but we'll go to a Merlin attraction. So uh, it's like a second home, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what is a typical day life? Looks like when filming. Oh, pretty busy. Every day busy, as you can imagine, with uh, filming and home educating the kids. Um, so I don't usually get a lot of sleep. It can usually be four or five hours a night because I'm up till the middle of the night editing, wow. up early to sort the children. Yeah. And then we just go between filming, educating, editing, cleaning, cooking, washing. <laughs> <laughs> I need to eat me, I need cloning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and just talking about cooking, I seen your um cooking video the other day with Perry. That was <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> yeah, we uh we, we don't we enjoy what we do and I think that's the, the thing. If you're doing a job, you've got to enjoy it, haven't you? you Definitely, know? yeah. And average, how long does it take for an an video to be put together? Oh um it can take one, two, three days, depending on the video itself. So quite a lot of editing goes into it. So that's the thing. Um, I've had some people in the past say, oh, why do you stay at a hotel for free? That's not fair. And I say to them, you don't really see what goes on behind the scenes. So I might be filming for a few hours, but then I might be editing for 12 hours 
you know, or yeah. longer. Yeah. So it can um, be a lot of work, but I enjoy what I do. Yeah, definitely, because it's the same with the uh, radio. Like, I, I've just done another interview, and there's a lot of bits I have to edit, so I kind of know in that aspect what it's like on the radio side of things. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's it's a lot of work, but I yes. love what I do, and uh, I will continue to support businesses, charities, you know, and things in Blackpool. Definitely, yeah. Um, now, I think I know um, from looking, from watching your video, sorry, I think I know what you're going to, what your answer is going to be for this one. What B and B would you recommend in Blackpool? Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> my first choice definitely would be the Flint yes. Guest House. Yes. Um, I love it there, as you you probably know. I've stayed there a few times, um, but the reason for picking that one is, as you probably know, it's not a standard B and B. No, they um, specialise in autism and and certain disabilities like that. They have a referral scheme there so that people who are short of money or struggling can be able to get a holiday to. Um, so, yeah, I really love that place and I will continue to advertise it. Yeah, Heather, um, like, yeah, is a lovely lady by the sounds of things as well. So. She's very kind yes. and it, it shows with her that she's not in it for the money because she only allows one booking at a time. And she does that for the reasons that I, I know some of the people that stay there that have got autism and uh, they're quite anxious. So if they were in a house with lots of other people, they wouldn't be able to do it. So they get the whole top floor to themselves yes. and they're able to relax. And she really goes above and beyond, you know, to support them. So, yeah, well, it's a really important part of the community, that yeah, place. Yeah, which is great because I don't think in... Edinburgh, or having maybe I haven't looked, but I don't think they have a thing like that, which would be really helpful if they did. Yeah, they need it all over, don't yes. they? They need a place yeah. in every town, definitely. Yes. Um, any anything exciting content coming up soon that you want to um, tell or? So for the rest of the year, it's pretty much going to be the same that we are going to, you know, it depends on what business has come to us as well and approaches us, but we are going to be doing, you know, the hotels as usual, community projects, attractions, all businesses that you can think of in Blackpool. We are planning to also do a few trips away this year. So uh, Maya's family on the road. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that will be quite fun as well. I was, I was, I did see the video with the um, crap boys and you mentioned about um, getting a motorhome in the future. Yeah, that's a goal that I'm working towards. So I'm yes. hoping in about three years' time that I could get a motorhome and we all go and live on the road. And then it won't be Myers Family Blackpool anymore. It mm. would be Myers Family Madness or Myers Family <laughs> Motorhome. I haven't thought of the name yet. <laughs> <laughs> And um, yeah. thanks for that. And finally, what platforms are you based on? I'm uh, so actually on that. all of them now. So yeah. our main platform is Facebook, um, but we're on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram and Twitter, which apparently is called X now. Yes. But it's still Twitter to me. But, yep, we're mm. on all of them now. So uh, just type in Maya's Family Blackpool and uh, come and give us a follow, everyone. Yeah, so make sure you do... Um, that are great um, YouTube and family as well. Crazy, but um, yeah, like in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. Definitely crazy. We have lots of giggles along the way. So if we make people laugh and smile, then job done, you know? Yes, uh, that's what we need in life, definitely. Definitely, yes. yeah. Thank, thank you for that. It's much appreciated. No, you're welcome, and uh, thank you for inviting me on to your show. I appreciate that. No worries. Thank you.